Yeah, this is uh, my exhibit. It's uh, tell the post history for a very special period in China uh, from 1966 to 1976. That time, um, China in the political turbulence. So like the Red Guard at that time, uh, some special post rate for Red Guard males. Like this male is, uh, uh, is the earliest Red Guard male recorded now, uh, sent in uh, August 24, 1966. Uh, actually, the Chairman Mao announced to support the Red Guard uh, six days ago. So this is the mail sent by Red Guard. This is their Red Guard organization. This also this uh, other Red Guard letter sent from Beijing uh, Middle School uh, Red Guard organization uh, with the post prepaid. Actually, it's a free mail. They don't need to pay any postage. And also the like this also a Red Guard their mail, local mail, it should be four cents normally, but now it's half by the two cents to support the Red Guard movement at that time. So this is also a special rate during that period, Cultural Revolution. Uh, you can see the mark, this uh, moss work. That means if you put some material for moss work, quotation, you can send in mail by free. It's early time you should pay, but later it's getting all free. Mm. This is the latest time you have to pay again. Uh, this are a special in May of 1969. You should start to pay again. This, this frame all about uh, most uh, uh, catcher, if you send the moss work, post office should mark the moss, this mark on the covers, so you get a free post reach, you don't need to pay. So different post office, they make different design, uh, so I classify them to make it uh, in different, uh, you can different type, some with frame, some without frame, some vert vertilized, so, or different type. In this way. Yeah. Here is about a um, special postmark used in Cultural Revolution. Uh, this mark uh, means uh, most first place. So they make it on the uh, post, post uh, marks. Uh, this is the um, a uh, common relative catchers designed by the local post office because the central post office don't design anything for fidelity purpose. It's only stop the fidelity activity. But the, some local post office, they are still do something their own. For example, this uh, uh, one of the five or six uh, catchers in 10 years, we can find now. This is the one example. Uh, also, the other catchers, uh, like this, uh, are political uh, propaganda catchers. They, they, they tell, uh, tell some political issues. This is another mark. They tell the people, you must put a mouse stamp in upright, not the other way they put this mark. You must put the stamp not like this. This is upside down. It's not a respect to more. So that's the 
there's the what? This is the register mark. They say the long live Chairman Mao. These are very political sized. Uh, yeah, th this is uh, about uh, automatic uh, uh, meat marks during Cultural Revolution. Uh, very special is this four piece. Uh, they designed with a um, very politicalized feature or Tiananmen Square, like this, only used for less than two years. Uh, so quite a few left. Uh, uh, this is the last frame. This uh, tell the uh, Cultural Revolution, the um, Chaotic uh, activities, like this uh, most step, uh, they don't allow the to chop on the step. That period uh, is very, very, uh, yeah, very politicalized everything. So even send to German, they don't make that Postmark and uh, this is the German post office. They mark that, not the Chinese post office. And after 81 days, they find that this caused a lot of tr troubles. So, uh, central post office design decide to chop the stamp again, but the people still very carefully chop it, uh, very carefully, to not uh, deface the stamp or moss pictures. That's, that's generally, yeah, the, the, my exhibit, yes.